Hello children, I am Pratibha Sunavne. Here I am posting Maharashtra about Mathematics Standard 6 videos. So, here we are learning operations on fractions. Children, we have learned already addition and subtraction by method number 1. In this video, we are going to learn by using two methods means we will solve the addition and subtraction. We have learned operations on fraction. In that we have seen addition and subtraction. We have seen by the first method. There are two methods to solve addition and subtraction. So in the last video already we have seen method number one. Here we learn first and second methods. Both the methods for addition and subtraction. So by which method you find it easier by that you can solve it. So already we have seen the first method. Question number one. That is addition. Add 5 1 upon 2 plus 2 3 upon 4. Let us see. 5 1 upon 2 plus 2 3 upon 4. So what we, we are writing this as 5 plus 1 upon 2 plus 2 plus 3 upon 4. So what we do here? We Take the same variables together. 5 plus 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 3 upon 4. So, this is the equation. We will add 5 and 2. That is 7 plus 1 plus 1 upon 2. Your denominator should be same for the fraction. When we are adding the fractions, their denominator should be same. For that, what we do here? We, can, we have to multiply denominator and numerator by... 2. So 1 2 are and 2 2 are. Right. Plus 3 upon 4. Then 7 1 2 are 2. 2 2 are 4. Plus 3 upon 4 as it is. Okay. So 7 plus 2 plus 3 and denominator as it is 4. We are not adding denominator. Right. So 7 2 plus 3, very good, 5, 5 upon 4. Next is 7, 7 is the whole number means its denominator is 1, okay. Then we will write as a fraction here, 7 upon 1 plus 5 upon 4. Again what we have to do, denominator, make the denominator equal, for that we'll, uh, we will multiply 7 and 1 with 4. 7 multiplied by 4 and 1 multiplied by 4. 5 by 4 as it is. So students, 7 4 is on 7 4 is on 28 upon 4 plus 5 upon 4. So denominator will be as it is equal to denominator as it is means 4 and 28 plus 5 28 plus 5 33 students as my question is in mixed form we will convert this fraction into mixed fraction. fraction in the rough column you can make the rough column to the right side of your page so we will divide 4, 33. So recite the table of 4. For result, 32. Right. 33 minus 32 is equal to 1. So we have learned already how to write the 8 divisor. Denominator as it is. See here the denominator is. We have written as it is. Denominator. Then quotient as a number. Then 1 will be the numerator. Okay. So the answer is 8 1 upon 4. Let us see the method number 2. In method number 2, what we do here? Let us write the quotient first. 5 1 upon 2 plus 2 3 upon 4. Okay. Here. First, we will convert this mixed fraction into improper. 
upper fraction. For that, what we do? 2 5s are 10 plus 1. Right? Now see. Denominator as it is, then 2 5s are and plus 1. By the same method, the second mixed fraction, denominator as it is, then 4 2s are 4 multiplied by 2 plus 3. Okay? So, 2 5s are 10 plus 1. 2 5s are 10. Then, plus 1 upon 2. Plus 4 2s are 8. Plus 3 upon 4. Got it? Then, 10 plus 1, 11. Then, upon 2, plus 8, 9, 10, 11. Here also 11. 11 upon 4. 4 means here. For the addition of the fraction, we have to convert our denominator equal. Okay, so here 2 is there. For converting denominator into 4, we can multiply 2 with 2. Means uh, with numerator and denominator, multiply both of them with 2. Okay, now 11 upon 4 as it is. 22 upon 2 twos are very good. 2 twos are 4 plus 11 upon 4. I'll write here just see. Just see. 4 4 as it is. Denominator, we are not adding denominator. Write denominator as it is. Okay. Then 22 plus 11. Okay. 22 plus 11. 33. 33 upon. 4. Okay. So here we have seen 33 upon 4 and in the rough column with the same method we will divide the fraction and same procedure to convert improper fraction into mixed fraction. Okay. So 8 quotient denominator as it is that is our divisor and reminder as a numerator. So, so students you can see that answers are same you can solve it by the both methods okay both methods are correct both methods can be used by which you find easier answers are coming same means there are two methods to solve addition and subtraction so let us have subtraction okay now we have seen the first question for addition now we will do the subtraction so i am writing here Minus 2, 1 upon 7. Okay, so let us see the method number 1 first. 3, 2 upon 5, minus 2, 1 upon 7. So, first we start subtracting. See, same variables. Here it means 3 plus 2 upon 5. Okay. So we will write it first then I will make you understand what to do after that. So here addition will be there, correct? So I will take the same variables together. Here 3 minus 2. Then we take the plus sign plus 2 upon 5 minus 1 upon 7 because why we want to subtract it, right? So, the whole variable is subtracting from this. 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 2 upon 5 minus 1 upon 7. See, you can find that this 5 and 7 both are prime numbers. So, for converting into equal denominator, we have to multiply them with each other. Okay. So, let us see. 1 plus so, we have to multiply it by 7. 2 7 are and with the same number we will multiply by denominator also. Here, by 5 we have to multiply. Okay, this will be the cross by multiplication. 5 are upon 7 5 are. Okay. So, let us see. 1, 2 7 are 14. Very good. 5 7s are 35, 
minus 1 fives are 5, 7 fives are 35. See here the denominator became same. Then what we'll do here? I'll write here 1 plus 14 minus 5 and denominator as it is. Okay. 14 minus 5 student. Yes, very good. 14 minus 5 is 9. Upon 35 it is. So here we directly also can write 1. You know that we are having the plus sign. We can directly write 1. 9 upon 35. Correct? Understood? So here the answer is 1. 9 upon 35. As we know there. Relation. That is addition. So here it is. But let's see by the second method. With the same question we will solve P2 upon 5 minus 2 1 upon 7. Here we will convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So how to do it? Denominator as it is. Then 5 P's are plus numerator 2. Correct? Same. This denominator as it is 7, 7 2's are and plus 1. 5 3's are 15, 15 plus 2 upon 5 minus 7 2's are 14 plus 1 upon 7. You can see here. So let us add. 15 plus 2, 17, 17 upon 5, minus 14 plus 1, yes, 15 upon 7. Here again, we know both are prime numbers, let us convert into equal denominator. For that, we will have the cross multiplication here, by this denominator we will multiply with the both number, and here with another fraction we will multiply with the 5. Let us see, 17 multiplied by 7. 5 multiplied by 7. This time will remain same minus 15 multiplied by 5 and 7 multiplied by 5. 17 fives are children. 7 times are 49, 7 times are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Correct? And 7 fives are. 35. Subtract 15 fives are 15 fives are 75 upon 35. Okay? So, I'll write here 35 as it is that we know that we are not adding denominators. So, minus 75 upon 35. So, one, 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 75. Nine. Let us subtract it. 9 minus 5, 4. Here it will become 11, 0. 11 minus 7, 44. Means, what will be the answer? 44 upon 35. Okay? So, we will have the rough column here by 35. 35 under 35. Let us subtract it. It will become 14. It will become 3. So, 14 minus 5, 9. 3 minus 3, 0. Means remainder is 9. Okay? So, we will write 35 as it is, which is the divisor. It will become the number quotient and remainder will be the numerator. So see, here the answer is 1, 9 upon 35 and here also 1, 9 upon 35. Answers are same students. It means by using both methods you can solve it. Okay? So children, you must understand both the methods. So in the next video, we will see multiplication and division of fractions. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you and keep watching the videos.